the Washington Huskies. 10-4 and four last year, 7-2 and two in conference. They returned seven starters on offense, two on defense. So that's obviously not good. Uh, number 11 in experience in the conference, number 109 in the country. Chris Peterson, 47-21 and 21 in five years. Uh, he has had three straight 10-win years, but this will really rely heavily on offense this year. Quarterback Jacob Eason, Georgia transfer. He's going to be the starter. Four out of five offensive linemen return. Tight end Hunter Bryant can be an absolute star. Uh, number 12, total defense allowed only one gain of 40-plus yards last year, which is really impressive. Uh, but they return only two players. Senior safety, uh, Miles Bryant, is he's going to be the leader of this defense. Uh, Washington has recruited well, so it should not be a total rebuild, even with the lack of experience. I'm telling you, I love this team. The over-under okay. is 9 over nine is minus one forty. Going under is plus one twenty. Um, I hope I press the right one here. Where's eleven and one? I got him eleven and one this year. All right, something went wrong because you've got him losing two different games somewhere. No, I've got him losing to Stanford. Oh, you had you don't you have him beating Oregon? Yeah, I've got them beating Oregon. Okay, okay. I've got them because you've got up. you've got Oregon beating uh, them and losing to Washington State. Yeah. I've got them That's right. beating Washington State okay. but losing to. So we Washington. are exactly the same. I have them eleven and one with the loss to Oregon. And so That's and it. eight and one in the conference. Eight and one in the conference. I think that this team is legit. I want it. I was this close to making them undefeated. I, see, and I I couldn't do that because I I don't think they're. That talented, but I think against this schedule, I I think Chris Peterson is one of the top three coaches in all of college football. Oh, I do, I do agree with that. And I think when he's got a quarterback and an offense, it doesn't matter. He just figures things out. He they they got lucky with having Oregon at home, a bye week, and then Utah at home. That's right. Uh, they get they get their two hardest games at home and a bye with week a bye week right in between them. You don't want to play them back to back, but the bye week between them helps a lot. Yeah, it really does. Really does. I mean, they really need to just be healthy for this three week period. Yeah, and then and then win the Apple Cup. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Um, so we both like Washington, eleven and a one. Uh, I've got them winning the division over Oregon because of that win. So I would have. Oregon winning it, but it would not shock me at all if they win it. Yeah. And if they win it, in my way, they go undefeated. They win the Pac-12 undefeated. I wonder, do they get in? It's a good question. The Pac-12 overall is down, but Oregon, Washington, and I still have Washington State being pretty good, and have Utah pretty good. There aren't a lot of conferences that are going to have four teams with nine, ten wins. Oh, I, I agree. So while you, we normally don't, and the most of college football has not thought well of the Pac-12 lately because the Blue Bloods are not what they used to be. If you've got four, let's say, for instance, Washington State pulls off a miracle, they get 10 wins. If yeah. four, in our opinion, we would think they would finish with four 10-win teams. And one of those would be undefeated. Yeah, because I've, I've got And I've that got one Utah? that's undefeated also played all three of the other ones. I've got Utah eleven and one. I've got Washington eleven and one in the uh, Pac-12 title game. Yep. And then you've got Oregon sitting on the outside at eleven and one. That's right. At eleven and one. Um, and then, I mean, I guess it, it's a play-in game for the playoff, but it's got to be right. I think like, Oregon you would can't... probably have the better non-conference win if they beat Auburn. Yeah. So but... it's just kind of it's up in the air, right? Like, I think all these teams are going to be really good. They'll all have 10 or 11 wins. At I some think. point in time, I think head-to-head has to matter. And if Washington State ends up with 9 or 10 wins, and Washington has wins over Washington State, Oregon, and Utah, if they have those, that's a better resume than Oregon having a win over, well, I guess they would have the same thing. They would have it over Washington State. They'd have Washington Auburn. State, uh, Auburn. They don't play Utah. Yeah. Yeah, they don't play Utah. So that I think that would hurt them. They lose the head-to-head argument, and they don't have that third big win third on the schedule. Yeah, I mean, you're probably right. You're probably right. Um, 
It, if if you've got two 11 and one teams playing in the Pac-12 title game, the winner of that is going to the playoff. I think so. Yeah, I really, I, I really do. I think I, it'd be I hard so to too. leave them out. 